today's video I have a current favourite and normally I used to do like my hair videos monthly however I came to like realise that like it wasn't every month that I was getting like new things and like constant new products that I was just trying out and loving and it was more so like every other month so what I'm going to do is just do like a current favourite every other month and just show like a lot more products rather than doing it like every single month so that's what I'm going to be doing from now but recently I've gotten so much makeup and so many amazing amazing products and I'm so excited to show you guys everything so the very first thing I have here I'm sure you guys have heard like a million things off and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and holy 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 crap this palette by far is one of my new favourites and I think it's always going to be a favourite of mine Um, in general I think this one stands out a lot compared to every other single eyeshadow palette that I own just because all of the colours in this palette are like completely up my alley this is just a close up of all the colours right here and as you can tell there's some really nice pinky colours some like um, really nice neutral browns just warm colours and this palette overall is really warm and me myself I just love warm pinky red like orangey colours on my eyes especially because I have blue eyes I feel like it just makes them pop so much but this palette is absolutely amazing the pigmentation on some of the eyeshadows well in fact all of the eyeshadow is amazing like look how pigmented they are they're absolutely gorgeous so this palette is like oh my god I just adore it so much so my next favourite is the Strew of Genius Eliminating Palette by NYX and I feel in the drugstore they just kind of lack on really good highlighting products Products. I feel like it would be more high-end brands which would produce really good, amazing, like really highly pigmented highlighting products. However, I've seen this palette from NYX and this is actually one of my new favourites. I do have another palette that I'm going to talk about soon in this video. However, this is just as good and it's actually half the price of it. Here is a little close-up of the colours. As you can see, they're absolutely gorgeous. These kind of colours along this row, especially these two, I don't really use them as much, although they would make really good eyeshadows. However, these two, them two furthest ones, and then all these three are absolutely gorgeous. I actually have this um, palette on today I actually mixed these two colours I'll do a swatch of some of the colours that's the three bottom ones look how gorgeous they are they're so highly pigmented they feel so buttery and so creamy and they're so like radiant and glowy on the skin they don't look chalky or anything and this one here is quite similar to um I have a highlighter from this from Anastasia this one here and it's quite similar to it's kind of like a pinky colour and on me that there would be more of like a blush shade but on darker skin tones it would make a, such a gorgeous pinky rosy highlight and I just think especially these three here are absolutely gorgeous and I think this was only like £10 or something and for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven highlighters which are all amazing quality I totally recommend it so my next favourite that I have is this MAC 135 brush and I'm sure again these all, all these products that I'm talking about are really already well known on YouTube because I've heard like a lot of YouTubers talking about them but honestly whenever I bought them I literally have fallen in love with everything that I have right now. This brush is just so good because it is really thin but it's also really fluffy so it's really 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 good for bronzing your skin. So what I do is I literally just take my bronzer on like either side of the brush and I just use the flat side of the brush just to put it along my temples, down the sides of my skin, my neck, my jawline and it just works so well. I just love how it's really flat and it just fits perfectly under the sides of the head, along the sides of the cheek and it's so good. If you're looking for like a great big bronzing brush, I would totally recommend this one. So another brush which I have been loving, which is more on the more affordable side of things, is this Lottie London um, stippling brush and oh my god guys, I've been watching like tons of people on YouTube recently who have been using like stippling brushes and geo fire brushes for their bronzer and this one actually works so well. So this is actually a brand from Superdrug and it's so inexpensive it is from the drugstore but I do only think you can get this in the UK. But but I actually seen that Wet n Wild came out with like a really good range of brushes which include like a stippling brush and it's actually quite similar to this although the like fibres on it are white and the handle is white I think but this here is so good for like blending in face powder and um, like taking away the bake from under your eyes and also bronzer too however I do like I do prefer this one for bronzer but this one is really good just for like overall blending on the skin and I wouldn't normally go for geo fibre brushes but this one is just so soft and it just seems to work wonders on the skin especially for applying face powder because just picks up the perfect amount for your skin and I just totally recommend this wee brush. So another product that I have here is the Bolly Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base and this here again is another product which I bought because of people on YouTube and I honestly am so happy that I got this because I have more like dry normal skin and I feel like before I do my foundation I just need to have like a big burst of like hydration into my skin and before I apply my primer and after I apply my moisturizer I use this and this is just like a really thick like it's kind of like a gel but it's more it's like a gel cream kind of consistency and it smells absolutely amazing and it's so thin but yet so hydrating and I feel even if you had oily skin this would work so well because it doesn't feel oily at all but it just feels like just a, like hydrating and moisture and it's amazing and again I would recommend it for dry and oily skin because I feel like it's just the perfect product which isn't going to add oil to your skin but it isn't going to make your skin dry but it's just going to add like moisture and hydration 
and I just love this two pieces. So furthermore, I have this here, and this is also another eyeshadow palette. I actually got this eyeshadow palette off Depop, and I'll tell her who I got it off right here. She has tons of really amazing products on her Depop, and I will leave her username down below. And if you want to go follow my Depop, I will have everything down below as well. And this palette is literally gorgeous. Again, it's just so nice. It's pretty similar in tone to the Anastasia one, quite warm and quite more of like the coppery, ready kind of colours. Although this one has just a little bit more shimmery shades. So this is the Dose of Colours Hidden Treasures palette and as you can see the colours are gorgeous and their shimmery shades are literally, they feel like a pressed pigment, they're that pigmented. So I'll do a few swatches of some of the colours here. They're literally like metal. They look just so metallic and like metalised. They look amazing. And I've still yet to use this um, actually in a video so if you guys want me to do a tutorial on this just let me know but it will probably be quite similar to this look just because I just love the warm colours but this palette is absolutely gorgeous. So I will leave the seller that I got this from off Depop down below. Um, so yeah. So the next thing that I have is another product which I'm sure you guys have heard about and I'm so sorry that I keep saying that but honestly all of these products are so raved about currently at the minute on YouTube and I can totally understand why. But my next favourite is the Too Faced for the Sway Concealers and Too Faced actually kindly sent me like I literally near died whenever this parcel came in the mail. I was so excited because concealer is like one of my favourite products and also Too Faced is like one of my favourite brands and then also the fact that they sent me out every single shade of their Born This Way concealers I was like hyperventilating I was like what the hell is going on here so whenever these arrived I was like woo I need to try these so as I mentioned they did send me out all I think they have 10 shades um, but these concealers are so good they're quite different to the Urban Decay Naked Skin the Urban Decay Naked Skin concealer and the MAC uh, Pro Long Bar are one of my two favourites also the NARS Really Creamy Concealer and the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, but this one, just, it's so, like you literally only need the tiniest amount and it's so pigmented with this. It's like my Urban Decay Naked Skin, you kind of need to apply a lot of it to get like the fullest coverage and to get like the maximum like highlightness and then maximum flawlessness. Um, but with this, you literally only need to do like a few dots and then by the time you blend it in, it literally spreads on your cheek and it just looks so radiant and it covers so well. This is like a really full coverage concealer, but because it has a coconut oil and alpine rose in it, it literally just feels so hydrating under the eyes. And obviously you want something that's hydrating for under your eyes because under your eyes can get quite dry at times, especially for me because I have dry skin. Um, and whenever you put this under your eyes, it just brightens up everything, conceals everything. And I would totally recommend this. It it is $28 and also £21 in the UK and again there is a lot of different shades like as you can see this one's very dark. You've got like your lighter ones and then you have like every shade in between so I would totally recommend going to try this out. You're on the hunt for looking good. Um, kind of like if, I would say £21 quite affordable for a concealer because they do last a long time and I feel like you get a lot of product in these. You get 7 mils which I feel like is a lot because and because you only need the tiniest bit of this it goes such a long way so I feel like it would last you forever as well. So next off I have this bronzer. This bronzer is literally so beautiful. I've been through a phaser that I just really love like matte contour, matte bronzing, like everything matte on my skin but now I just love my bronzing and like my contour everywhere like on my cheeks just to look so really and glowy. As you can see here I have like a bronzy like shimmery strip here and then I have my highlight and then I barely even contoured today just because I love like the shimmery bronzy look. And this here is the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer in the shade Sweet Pea. This is what the packaging looks like. It's so gorgeous. It's in like the little cardboard um, boxing and that's the colours there. It's kind of like a gel um, powder. You have more of like a lighter shade and then you have like a darker colour. And with this product particularly, I like to use the Lottie London brush. And what I do is I just swirl my brush in to both colours and just get a mixture and then just apply it like I would to my normal bronzer and just make your skin look so dewy and healthy and radiant. And if you like shimmery bronzers but don't like them kind of like glittery and like heavy looking on the skin, I would totally recommend this one because it just looks so natural and radiant and absolutely gorgeous. So finally, my last favourite of this, like these past couple of months that I've been absolutely adoring, um, this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. And I've only really used this. I've had this, I had one of these for like half a year. And I literally only used it a few times because the shade that I have was a little bit too like on the warm side. It suited me whenever I was going clubbing because it was like extra dark, but on like a daily basis it wasn't like appropriate, like it was a little bit too dark for my skin. So when I was over in IMAX in London, I picked up two shades. I picked up a lighter version and then a really darker version for when I'm like super tan. So this foundation, oh my god guys, if you've been following me on Instagram recently, I'll have my Instagram here if you want to go follow me. Um, I've been taking like a lot of flash photography recently and normally I would always avoid that because I feel like with my foundation stuff that I used to wear, it just used to wash me out and everything just used to look a lot flatter and stuff. But this foundation honestly makes my skin look like porcelain and 
it just makes my skin look airbrushed and it oh my god I honestly cannot explain to you guys how amazing this makes my skin look and part of the Too Faced Born This Way concealers is like oh my god so pretty much this is just a stick foundation this one here is the shade 153 which was the one that I had before and as you can tell it's a little bit darker and um, this was the one that kind of didn't match me at the start but it matches me whenever I have the tan on and um, so what I do is I do like two stripes here two stripes here one stripe here one like wee tiny stripe my chin and then down my nose and then I just use like a flat top brush just to blend it into my skin and guys it makes your skin look absolutely amazing if you're wanting to try like a new good foundation and we have like dry I would say normal to dry skin this would be quite good because it does have it kind of does feel a little bit oily on the skin but I feel like if you did have oily skin and really set it in place with like a good mattifying powder it would work as well but I feel like for more dry people or like more like normal to dry people this would be absolutely amazing and oh, amazing so guys that's pretty much everything that i want to quickly mention because as i said i have been trying so many new products recently and then ones that i just talked about are like my favorites at the moment that i adore like so much so guys please give this video a big thumbs up so much because it helps me like a million so please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video guys bye